Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. I know it's been forever and it's makeup area, all my stuff is here, I have all the options. But in this particular video, I wanted to show you guys all the makeup that I recently purchased and received as gifts. Um, just some fun stuff and just kind of like playing around. Instead of doing a regular haul, I just kind of wanted to throw it all on my face and try it out and show you guys how it wears. If you guys want to see how you get this look, it's a very nice, deep, deep, deep maroon smoky eye um, with a nude lip. If you want to see all the products that I purchased um, the last couple of months, then keep watching. I think I'm going to start off with my eyes because there's a little bit of glitter that I bought and I want to do a just intense smoky eye. Um, I'm meeting with my sister today, so hopefully it's not too much. But... And I'll kind of walk you guys through what I purchased and what is like old to me because then it won't make sense. So I'm using my uh, MAC primer. This is the 24 hour eyeshadow base. It looks like this guy. It lasts a long time. I'm going to be using my NC42 Studio Fix Powder just to kind of set that base. The base is a little bit sticky which is great if you're using like, you know, kind of pigment with just your finger or a very shimmery color with just your finger. But I'm not doing that right this second so I need this to be very smooth so that all my eyeshadows can blend much easier. Alright now for my transition I'm using Shade Stir by MAC. This one's like my, it was like honestly my favorite um, bronzer, but I also love it for my eyeshadow. And if you guys, I'm sure you guys have <laughs> watched my um, how I pack and how I need to not pack so much video, I tend to use my bronzers as my eyeshadows all the time. So I love when bronzers can be used as transition colors so much. If you're doing a smoky eye too, you want to make sure that you really do use a transition because the smoky eyes can get a little... A little bit choppy. Alright, and this is a new eyeshadow to me. I purchased this at um, a, one of the stores in Miami. And um, I played around with this a lot in the store, like whenever I work at MAC. And it's called I'm Into It. It's one of the newer colors. It, I haven't used it like a full-blown matte eyeshadow yet. So I'm going to do that. It's a very, very matte color, so you want to make sure you tap off all the excess. So I'm going to tap this all over my eyelid. Ooh, yes. Like, this is like every girl's dream lip color in an eyeshadow form. I'm dipping a brush, like a blending brush, into my um, original bronzer. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> use that to kind of begin the blending process. I feel like I haven't, I haven't done my makeup in such a long time. Like, a real makeup where I like it's Instagrammable. <laughs> I've been doing very quick looks whenever I work at MAC ever since I got back from my trip, so this is really exciting for me. And just in case you guys don't know, I um, have been keeping up with my vlog channel. I'm just kind of, I did upload a vlog in this channel of the Women's March. That was just too important not to share on the main channel. But um, if you guys want to see my vlogs at the very end, it's a picture of me in like a rainforest looking <laughs> background but that's my vlog channel and it's called Susie's Diary because I um, am an avid diary keeper journal keeper, journal writer and I just thought this makes perfect sense to call it that so I'm just going to going back between both colors adding a little bit more, blending it out, adding it more, blending it out just so it's like a very smooth transition and I think what I'll do now is add that to my brush, my blending brush, and then blend that. So now this is where girls start to go, I look like I have a black eye. You don't look like you have a black eye, it's just not finished. You need to make sure that the whole face is complete because otherwise it just doesn't look like a complete smoky eye. Um, so when I say the whole face is finished, I mean do the brows, do the lashes, do the liner, do the bottom lashes, do the bottom smoky eye. Like, that's the part where it makes it look finished. Otherwise, it just looks like a black eye um, or a bruised eye if you're using deep, I'm into it, eyeshadow. So I'm really happy with this purchase. This is something that I've used a couple times in the store whenever I work at MAC. So I knew that I wanted it really bad, but I just think that this is like life. It's just given to me in a sample, so this is also part of my new items that I'm just playing with. Um, I'm going to go back to my eyes later on. Um, it's called the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It's from First Aid Beauty. Um, the girl there gave me a sample. Ooh, maybe I'll put this in my little 
See, this is what I always keep whenever I get a sample at MAC. I always like clean it out and keep them. Unless I have a billion, but I really don't. Okay, so this is actually what it looks like. It's a really like kind of off pink um, smoothing primer moisturizer. Oh, it smells amazing. It's like not super sweet either. Mm, that smells good. Mm, that feels good. I like that. Hopefully I love it more. So I do have another sample of it here. So I'm going to play with that. But that feels nice actually so far. It keeps it, it's very moisturizing. I think today I just want to go full coverage. Um, so I'm going to use the Milani uh, foundation. This is a two-in-one foundation in the color 06. This isn't my perfect shade right now. Um, I should my, my actual hands are like way darker. So that's why I'm going to go ham with the mixing of colors. But right now I'm going to be using 06. And then I'm going to use it um, this color, which is 209. This is a great color to darken up foundations. This is what I always do um, whenever I'm just a little bit too... A little bit too tan for that Milani foundation. I did get this as a gift. This is a beauty type blender. Um, this is sold at Marshalls. I got it from my mother in law, and she was like, She goes, I don't know, I just thought you might like that. And I'm like, Oh my god, thank you, thank you. Because, like, I don't buy those for myself, I just kind of like buy what I buy, and I never really stray from like to try new ones. And it got super big when I moistened it, it was not this big. But this is from Marshalls, so um, I'm not sure where exactly if you could find it still. Not as bouncy, but it definitely um, distributes the color really well. Thanks, mother-in-law. She gave this to me. I was like screaming. It was my, I think this was my birthday gift. Yeah, this was my birthday gift. And um, I was like, I just got so giddy. I mean, honestly, like as much as, yeah, I know my own makeup and I buy my own makeup. As much as I do that, I still love getting makeup. <laughs> Makeup's just exciting. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I almost sound like I'm like bouncing a basketball on my forehead. <laughs> always forget that with this both of these foundations are so high covers that you don't need a lot so I like poured way too much I'm going to find the link where you guys can get this a few of you guys asked me in my last video um, where you guys can find the palettes and honestly I just think it makes such a difference when you're using your foundation and you put it on a palette it mixes better it also distributes the product better and you don't waste a lot like you don't have to waste so much product because when it's on the palette it's not on your hand soaking up onto your skin so far, I love it, but look how gross it looks. <laughs> I'm so not used to that. Oh my gosh, it looks really good though. Yeah, some of these like like knockoff beauty blenders are awesome. I don't know why people get so hard on them. The next item that I uh, purchased lately and I wanted to use is my Sephora concealer. I I know that these have been out forever, and um, but I, as you guys saw, hopefully you saw my last video where my declutter series is happening. I decluttered a bunch of my concealers and. Um, I was just in the, I had a gift card at Sephora and I just wanted to buy something, okay? So I wanted to buy this concealer and this one's in the color um, Butterscotch and I wasn't sure if this was my match because I had gotten so, so tan so quickly. So um, let's see how this goes. Hmm, maybe this is like a perfect concealer. I'm going to use the Beauty Blender for this, just because it's a little bit smoother underneath my eyes. It's an okay concealer. Honestly, I feel like it's... It just reminds me so much of some of my other ones, and... I don't know, I'm not that impressed by it, really. I think maybe it's the color. It's definitely not brightening, which is fine. Actually, it's probably a good one for just concealing. But I am going to try to finish this guy up. This is a brightening pen, so... Um, this is in Bright Forecast from MAC. So I'm going to put this here just to kind of add some brightness because I don't feel like the concealer did that. Although it did a great job of concealing, but I'm not sure if I want to keep that. Like I just don't think that I like... Maybe I'll play with it a couple more times, but I think I might end up returning that. Um, I also want to see how it wears on my face. I'm using my banana powder to set my concealer. My banana powder I've been loving so much lately because it just does a really good job with setting underneath the eyes if you are like a deeper complexion or tanner skin. Um, I just feel like it doesn't add any kind of white brightness. It does a good job of setting everything, you know? 
I just finished my brows. I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished doing my brows, and I wanted to make sure that they're nice and sharp. I'm using the same highlighting pen that I used on my cheeks from MAC. I was going to use my Studio Finish, but it's in my purse, because the other day I wore the Studio Finish concealer, the one that looks, the ones that look like this in a little pot. Um, I used it on my under eyes, because I was like, let me see, is it really that awful? And it was like, fine. So I'm going to play with it some more and figure out why it worked well. I think it's the banana powder on it that I set it with that it did such a good job, but um, I'm just so happy that I've found a way to use it. Day, I worked a four hour shift, but I, I checked in like six hours, seven, nine hours later, and it looked great, so that's why I'm like, hmm, it's not that bad. Um, another thing that I bought while I was in Miami was this this big old brush I just I don't know I just look like I just wanted to buy it it was it's from Morphe they had a whole section at Ricky's for the Morphe um, brushes and palettes and shadows and stuff like that but this one in particular I was really interested in because it was just so big and it was so inexpensive so what I usually do with big brushes is I'm um, just set I'm just using the studio fix powder I'm putting that really lightly on the perimeter so that my bronzer Goes on nicely. I'm gonna use the same brush, which I don't normally do, um, but usually I set my face with this brush, which I love. So I'm gonna be using this bronzer. Should I finish my eyes? Can't buy my rhythm yet. I'm gonna use this bronzer to bronze and kind of shape the face a little bit. When I was in Miami, a lot of the times I like, was not using blush. So I just kept using my bronzer as my blush, and this was like a brush that I liked to do, to do it with. Oh, that's a big brush. All right, now I'm using my teeny brush here to just kind of do a little on my nails. So I really like that brush. I'm happy with the purchase. Um, I just think it's so, like, fun. It's just so fun to play with. NYX had a big display in Ricky's, and... This one caught my eye, and I bought one for my sister as well, because there, there was one color that like really matched her. It was a little bit lighter, tannish. It was really pretty. Um, but this one is called Almond. They're roll-on shimmers. It's just like, to me, it just reminds me of a pigment, and it's just like in a nicely sealed container. So I'm going to use this, my finger. And I'm just going to tap it in the center of the eye. What impressed me about this product when I was in store playing with it is like how much goes onto this little ball and it doesn't even take much effort at all to put it on your eye. So I'm just going to buff a little bit of the edge. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit extra for... I'm going shoe shopping with my sister and um, then we're going to go to Starbucks afterwards. This might be a little much for that, but they don't know my life. I'd always like seen these and like wanted to play with them, but I never, I don't know. I guess I, guess I never really played with them, and I, I'm just so happy I bought this. So this is a cool purchase that I'm really happy with. I'm going to curl my lashes, and I'm going to throw on these. These are the lashes eight, um, in 812 by Ardell. They're those new foam ink lashes. I've been um, kind of going crazy about them on Instagram because I bought these myself, obviously, and I, I bought them at Walgreens. Um, but I haven't been able to find more. These are like the best looking lashes in terms of those foam ink ones or those, you know, those really thick banded ones. This band is honestly like I've never seen something so pretty and it also is so, so comfortable. I've worn these in the 812s. Um, they're just both really so pretty. So if you guys see them in store, I would snatch them because I have not been able to find more. So I'm going to throw on some mascara, I'll throw those on, and I'll be back. I threw on those lashes, and I did put a little bit of liner just using this Revlon like felt tip pen, but I just, I didn't wing it or anything. I just kind of stamped it. A little bit of liner on my waterline because if you look straight ahead, and there's like what, like skin fleshiness. <laughs> it looks really bad. I'm using my Smolder uh, pencil from MAC. Oh my gosh, my eyeliner declutter is coming very soon. I filmed it while I was in my hotel room. Uh, I'm going to be editing that and posting it probably next week. Maybe I already did, I don't know. 
All right, already that looks so much better. So now I'm going to go back to the eyeshadow and I'm just going to buff it all up in the bottom lash line. So I'm going to use that again. I love the way this looks buffed out. I'm going to be using the Motives uh, Fiber Lush for my bottom lashes. This one's really great for bottom lashes for some reason. I just, I don't know, I, don't, I didn't love it for my top lashes, but it does something amazing for my bottom lashes. I'm going to leave my waterline bare too, which is what I normally do. I just like the way it looks with a bare um, waterline. For my highlight, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. I haven't used this in a while, and I did, I really, I do like it. Um, it just adds something unique. It's a little bit more of a subtle highlight. I'm going to use this guy right here. It's more of the peachy one. It just adds like, it has like an iridescent like pink in it. This one does. They all have something different in them. See how it's like subtle? In person, it looks really, really subtle. But... It has to be a little bit more. So I'm going to use my Kiko brand um, highlight. It's actually an eyeshadow in 208. It's a really great gold color. That one I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to spray this. Oh yeah, that's better. See how that lost it up a little bit? It did it very, very like far too. Keep it on the tip of my nose because I think it's so cute. What I usually do with my highlighters, almost always, is take it in the inner corner and on my brow bone. Just kind of brings everything together. The gold's very shiny, so if it's too much for you, I get it. All right, now I have a big, major, major purchase that I didn't make. I actually received it as a gift. I don't really like showing my birthday gifts or anything like that, but this is makeup related and it's also very, very cool. I already played with it once. Um, I have a vlog on my vlog channel with me and my sister exchanging our birthday gifts when I got back to the city. Um, so anyways, this is what she bought me. Ooh, she got me the Anastasia palette and I'm so, so happy that I, I, I was like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, whoops, I forgot blush. Let me just throw on some blush really fast because I think I need a little bit of blush. Use the e.l.f. blush palette in light. Very, very light. -y. I think I want like a taupey nude. I'm going to use the color 2, 8, and then mix it a little bit with primary 1. Oh, I, I mix these two in the restaurant. <laughs> you want to see us exchanging gifts. We actually tried on the lipstick in the restaurant. That's just how important it was. But anyways, it's this guy right here. Oh, it's so cute. I'm just going to throw this on my lip because, oh wow, it's a really pretty texture. Oh, it's so pretty. This is like totally the color me and my sister always wear too. Just like a off nude pink. Oh, I love this color. Oh, that's so pretty. But yeah, but this gift in particular was my favorite, and I'm so, so happy. So thank you, Sandy. You're the best, and I'm going to be using this a whole lot more in my videos, so guys, keep out. I'll look out for that. Oh, let me take this out. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Let me just give myself a little quick spray, too. So this is the finished makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, kind of going through some of those newer products with me and testing them out with me. If I have any updates, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to be... I'm having a lot of updates coming up in my January favorites, so keep a lookout for that. Like I mentioned before, make sure that you click on my vlog channel. I post a ton of stuff on there. I also I play and make up a lot too. I do, I do a lot of get ready with me on there as well. I also do get ready with me on my Snapchat. Um, I've been doing those a lot lately too, so just get, stay tuned so you guys can see more makeup and just like be immersed in all the makeup stuff. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! But I, on this lip, this lip, I love it. I literally made the same exact color that I wore and buy from every brand. But I used it using the Anastasia palette. So the colors I used was number two, number eight, and primary one.
use a very very small amount of each of them but it's just like the most perfect like pinky nude don't even get me started so I'm gonna take some pictures now and post those on Insta and I'm gonna try to get um, a couple things ready before I head out to Sandy because that's what we're doing tonight we're just gonna hang out 